Going. Home. Yeah. This is the airport. This is the airport. We're just getting our bags. Ooh. Time to go home. We should have stayed another week, but we shouldn't have. So you come out of there after you check in. There's the toilets. And then you line up outside under a tarp. And there's a little cafe there, a bar. You can get booze. <laughs> The arrows go on that way, non depart non US departure ball down there. This has the first time I saw that everybody in their pocket, you know? It's a pretty After you get through that guy, you come in and then you have to go through that guy. And then you get into another lineup for bag. Okay, after the security, you come in here, you can get coffee, and you wait till they call you. Plane's not even here. Anyway, at least we're here, right? I just dropped my thing. So we are going to be boarding that Rouge flight to Toronto and then changing in Toronto to a flight to Vancouver. And we're on and we're sitting right there. Lucky us. That's what standby does. At least it's cheap. We're literally squeezed in. There's not much room for comfort. And if you look over there, there's a last look of the ocean. By, by Caribbean Ocean. It's so warm. Oops.
landing in Toronto now. This is one big city. It's actually a sunny day here in Vancouver. Dry, they don't have enough, they didn't have any rain, but it's hazy. Smoke. Yeah, it's... it's no fires there's it's a couple dry. of, where's the smoky part I want to show you? You can see the smoke. It's supposed to be a blue sky, but it's all smoky. Oh, it's all smoky. See how smoky it is? So we're we're taking a walk. I want to go back to Ruba. I want to go back to Ruba too. We're taking a walk and we're just going around the block because it's not good to be walking, breathing in this crappy air. But so we made our flight in Aruba to Toronto. And when we landed in Toronto, we had to wait 40 minutes to get off the plane, right, Michael? That's right. Stuck on the tarmac and then waiting for a gate. Waiting for the gate to yeah aircraft was on the gate pushing off late so they sat and waited till it left before we got on so that caused us to miss our connection flight yeah but fortunately for us there was a delayed flight from seven o'clock so it, it was delayed like three and a half hours and in the end we were able to 
to make that one somehow, even though we weren't supposed to. And then the de delayed one was due to a lightning strike, but they weren't telling anyone that because people would freak out. And that's why the one we actually did get on was, what, four hours delayed? Yeah. So. And they had to hold a flight open to get us on because they, kept trying to put a, they couldn't transfer us from yeah. the other flight we missed because it was closed. And then somehow the guy, the young kid that uh, did it for us, he was determined to get us on that flight. He was, yep. And, uh, so he got the gate open. He took charge of the flight and opened it up and mm -hmm. got us on. And he once they saw the flight was still open, somebody called down and said, well, hey, look, we've got a late flight coming in with people that were supposed to go on the earlier flight that missed it. Can we get them on that flight still? So they kept the flight open later and they held it for like another 50 people. So we actually helped 50 people yeah. to make it home that night because that was the last flight. Yeah. So it worked out pretty good. Worked out pretty good for everybody. A lot of people. And I had my own pod. This night. You did have your own business pod. pod. I didn't have a pod, but I did have business class or whatever. Yeah. I did have a meal. Because otherwise we would have spent the night in Toronto and that wouldn't have been really no. Very costly. Costly and don't want to. Tired, the whole thing. I've seen so much of Toronto when I lived there. I don't care to see it again. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then we got lucky. Then our son and daughter-in-law came and picked us up at the airport. Yeah. Late in, one, one in the, in the morning. morning. Even though they had to work in the morning, they still wanted to come and get us. They were. Well, that was nice. They were so nice doing that. And then my daughter-in-law, our daughter-in-law. She washed and made our bed. It was so nice and fresh and made up and we had a little present of mint chocolates on there welcoming us home. Yeah. I don't know, we lucked out on the best daughter-in-laws. I, I, I am so happy for my son, our sons. <laughs> Keep forgetting you're included. <laughs> well, <sometimes. laughs> our, My sons, our sons. There was a show called My Three Sons. It couldn't have been just his. It had to be a woman involved somewhere. I don't, I don't remember. When. <laughs> so they say. So that's the end of our Aruba trip. Whoop! Speaking of trips, see you next fall or what? Yeah. I jinxed yeah. you by saying trip. And uh, what else do we have to comment on? Uh, just, let's go back to Aruba. It was a... Yeah, Aruba is the friendliest, safest. I've seen, I've seen enough at home. <laughs> yeah. It's safe. Oh, the... Right back at it, too. Skip the dishes in an hour. Wow. Yeah. The weather was perfect. Our bodies felt amazing. That's that moist Jeez, heat. Our cat's coming. Our neighborhood. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Watch out for cars. So, uh, yeah, we both have back problems. Mike has knee problem and a back problem. And the uh, temperature there is fantastic. You know, you're going to 80s to 90s. This moist heat makes everything feel fabulous. But not only that, the Aruba's friendly. It's safe. Hi, kitty. Meow. It's our neighborhood kitty. Hey, kitty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so good. The spotty. It's spotty. Spotty cat. Spotty cat. Spotty cat. Baby. Wherever we go, there's cats. I miss the three cats that are in Aruba, too. I hope somebody feeds them. Um, so, what else can I add? And I think the best deal was the casita because... For 100 bucks, you get a car, and 100 bucks a night, you get a, a clean place to stay. Um, one thing you can look up is Little Blue House, Casita, including car rental. If you look that up, they have four of them two yellow, one red, and one blue. We had the blue one. I like the area, I like the spot the blue one was in because it wasn't by the road where you. Get the cars parking and door slamming and it wasn't next to the pool or Harry's area yeah and it wasn't next to the pool yeah, the other two are in front of the pool and you would hear other people talking swimming all that so the blue one was kind of in the middle of all that so uh, once again in the comments i'll put in 
a link to the casita and I think they're worth giving business to because they are kind people. They stock your fridge for you. They leave a bottle of wine. Well, we are lucky too because we had one of their sons was there from Holland. Yes. Staying at the casita for most of the time we were there as well. So right. they were very helpful and yes. nice to talk to you and give us information. And girlfriend we're... too was nice. So yeah, it was kind of very, felt like, I think home away from home kind of a Yes, it thing. did. Mm -hmm. We like that. And I think having your own car, you drive around and you, you see all the places. The Northern Island is worthwhile taking a car to. And uh, seeing all the things on the outskirts, taking your time, where if you take a, a bus tour, you're on their time. So, uh, take a car, get a car, and take your time visiting places. So we're open to suggestions if anybody's got any other places around the world that oh. can recommend for us to go. Yes. We like it when it's warm, so. Yes. Moist and warm, but moisty. Where's that island that guy said he went to and it wasn't very safe anymore? Trinidad oh, or? No, wasn't it uh, Dominican Republic? Dominican Republic, he said. He used Cuba. to. He said it's not safe anymore. It's Cuba was another one. In Cuba, we were talking to somebody. He said they're not safe anymore. They used to be, but he was there. F you just got to be careful. Where you Twenty go, years ago. Yeah. But that's the part we got to watch out. In Aruba, uh, San Nicolas is a little shady. I think if you're not there in the middle of, like, in the nighttime, maybe you won't get hassled. But there's nothing to see in the nighttime in San Nic Nicolas in Aruba. Anyway, and that's where Baby Beach is. Uh, snorkeling's great at Baby Beach. And we never did go on the boat to Palm Island. We just didn't want our last day to be the whole day on a boat being captured on an island. I want to take our time seeing things we didn't see, doing some sunning, laundry, just take our time. We went somewhere our last day. Where did we go? I forget. The semi sub we did. Oh, we did a semi sub. We saw a shipwreck. Yeah, so on my YouTube, you can see the shipwreck, the fish, there's a baby turtle. Like, you just get a glimpse of it. They move so fast, those little turtles. And the coral's all growing back. I think the best way to do it, though, is to do the actual full sub next time. Yeah, the full sub, you think? a little think? more. It was like $100 each. So. Oh, okay, yeah. But that goes right down into the, you know, Floor. underwater. And this one, yeah. half above, half below, so you're, yeah. you're not able to get down as close as you like to. There's my, our son oh, cleaning his car. He's. I think he's talking to do it. Maybe. He's, All right. He's using my vacuum, so. So we should say over and out. Okay. Over and out. Thanks for walking with us. We're home now. Yeah. Made it through the smoke. Ugh, it smells here terrible. Two fires going on. One in Chilliwack and one in. Coquitlam. Coquitlam. No, Coquitlam. Coquitlam and somewhere else. It's nice to be home, but I can't wait for our next trip. Yeah. It'll be for a while because I think we got to go to school or something. I think I'm going to be hmm. taking a course. Uh, I think that workers' compensation is going to be putting me through. It's like you go on a trip. Unit clerk, hospital unit clerk. People training. go to Guatemala to see our daughter. Yeah. That'd be not bad. Not bad. Place to stay too. I don't somewhere. know if I'd like to go there, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like and please subscribe and please share. Bye.